Hi, how are you? Um, today is a um, kind of like a, a cool Tuesday. <laughs> Welcome to Tuesday. Anyway, today I'd like to share um, as what the topic says, how to get off automatic. Hi, everybody. So what does it mean by how to get off automatic? How many of you feel that sometimes you, you know, um, you seem like you're out of control? It's not like you're crazy out of control. It's like you, you know, you just do something automatically. Like, um, like when somebody would um, give you a punch and your automatic reaction is, what la, why you hit me, you know? Like that. And, um, or when somebody says something, you immediately respond, um, you Im immediately react to it, like, oh, wow, you, you either panic or, you know, you, you, you react to it. How many of you find that you react to things very fast, you know? And, and uh, so that's what I mean by uh, automatic. We tend to have some uh, programmed reactions to things, right? Of course, like our immune system, you know, when you're attacked, the, uh, the white blood cells automatically come and defend you. And um, so anyway, uh, boost your immune system. Anyway, so, so we um, have our own automatic reactions, all right? So um, especially when to things that we, we don't quite like, you know, we don't quite like, like, you know, somebody scolds you or, or somebody do something to you or you're doing something and the results are uh, not what you expect. So you react certain ways to it. Ah, oh, how come like that? Or you re react maybe uh, negatively or, or you react more emotionally, right? So we all react to some things, right? How many of you react to some things? How many of you understand what I say is that you are automatic, sometimes cannot control. Sometimes um, people ask, why are you like that? I also don't know why I like that. It's automatic. Lor. How many of you find that you are automatic sometimes? So, when we are automatic and we react to certain things, sometimes it may not be what we should respond to, right? Sometimes we may say certain things that uh, after I say it, I, I think I shouldn't say, you know, uh, you know, or we get angry and we scold and then we, we think about, oh, I should not have scolded. How many of you experienced that before? So, would it be nice if we're not automatic? Would it be nice if we Instead of react, we respond, right? Instead of we react to things, we respond to things. Would you like that? Uh, let me know if you want to respond to things or you want to react to things, right? And um, because, uh, you know, of course, when we react to things, we, we don't really think about it. But when we respond to things, we tend to think about it, isn't it, right? So, um, um, so, so, I, I heard this from, of course, one of the talks I went, a training I went, and it was this guy who wrote a very famous book. Uh, well, anyway, the author is Viktor Frankl. Viktor Frankl, he was a, I think he's a scientist or a psychologist or something or someone. Of course, very famous. Uh, he wrote the book, Man's Last Hope or something like that, right? Forgive me for uh, not giving the right name, but Viktor Frankl. So, uh, unfortunately, Viktor Frankl was caught by the Germans and was um, in the camp, concentration camps, and, and he was being experimented on. So, it's not a good thing, right? So, ex experimented on. So, um, when he was being experimented on, you know, of course, it's torture. It's very bad, you know. You know, nobody can withstand that kind of a torture. He... Um, uh, he, of course, you know, eventually he was able to, um, you know, uh, survive and, you know, and people ask him, how did you survive? And he said that um, when he was being tortured, he, he, he said, of course, they could do everything to their body, but they couldn't touch his mind. So, so he, he in remembered how it felt like when he was in Geneva or something in his college or, or university teaching so he could think about that right so um, he said that um, if somebody gives you a stimulus somebody you know something happens or something happens to you 
or, or you are reacting to certain things, um, we, we, between the, 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 the thing that's happened, the event, and your reaction, there is a gap. There's a gap. There's a gap. <laughs> Small gap. And if we, um, uh, you know, expand that gap longer, then uh, we will have time to pause a bit and think a bit before we react to the event. So, uh, if you want to get off automatic, when something happens to you, or you, know, you do something and it's not what you want, before you react to it, you want to you know, pause a little bit. Pause a little bit. He, he said that uh, this pause, this gap, is, um, is the most important thing in, uh, for a human being, is that we have that choice to pause a bit. So when you pause a bit, you will be able to think a little bit before you react. So, um, so of course, you know, that's what they say, when you get angry before you score something, you count one to ten. So that ca causes you to force yourself to pause, right? So that's, that's why it happens. But what I like about this is that when you pause and you are able to think about it, and then you are able to respond to it, when you are able to respond to something, you are response-able. You are response-able. So if you say response-able many, many times, response-able, response-able, it becomes responsible. Responsible. So that means if you are able to respond given some event before you react, then you automatically become a responsible person. Isn't that cool? So if you are able to respond, you are now responsible and you are now responsible. So, um, and this is very powerful because most of the times when something happens to you and when it happens to you, you feel like, um, like a victim, isn't it? Oh, why does it happen to me? Why is it like that? And then you feel bad and you're sad and then you anger and then you frustrated and all, you know, negative thinking. But when you are able to respond, hmm, why did that happen? I understand. I see. Okay, that's what I did. Oh, that's why they responded this way. So when you are able to be, to able to respond and you pause a bit and think a bit, you become responsible for the event. You don't become a victim of the event. You become a responsible person. So, this is very important if you want to have more power in your life, more power, more personal power, to be happy, to do the things you want to do, to uh, be emotionally strong, mentally strong, to have resilience, um, to succeed in your life, one of the most important things that anyone can tell you is to be responsible. How to be responsible? Pause before the event, think about it, and then respond. Don't react, because if you react, you are on automatic. So the power that if you get, if you're off automatic, you become more aware, you become more responsible, you become more mentally strong, become mentally resilient, you become persistent, you are consistent in what your actions are, you don't get down or emotionally frustrated. Isn't that cool? So, get off automatic, be aware about yourself, and then you will become more responsible so that you don't become a victim. Don't become a victim, be a responsible person. All right, I hope you like this sharing today. It's a bit long, but I think it's important that if we can learn how to be more responsible, we don't become a victim of events that happen to us. We understand why they happen. We can take steps to prevent it from happening. We don't have to blame other people. We just have to learn how to respond to it. Okay? If you enjoyed this, let me know. Give me a um, uh, 5555 if you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, do PM me and ask me any questions you'd like me to talk about. I'd love to share with you more. So that's it for today. Have a fantastic, fantastic Tuesday. I'll see you again. All right. Bye-bye. Hi, guys. Hi, Wendy.
Hi Sam. Hi Linda. Hi Mason. Hi Eileen. Hi Solna. Hi Hui Suan. So, have a responsible Tuesday. More power to you. More power to you. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out how to shut this thing down now.